guys welcome to the start of some weekly reading um, reading and life vlogs i should say i am participating in vlogtober but instead of doing daily vlogs because we all know i'm not gonna be editing videos every single day to do a vlog i am doing weekly vlogs as i do um, for vlogmas as well so you'll be getting a weekly vlog from me starting like the they'll come out like the second week of October going into the first week of November type of thing for vlog October um, it is now October 1st um, sorry for the shaking I'm still kind of waking up um, even if it's like nine o'clock in the morning it's been a rough few days for me mentally so I am hoping that I will start feeling a little bit better um, over the next few weeks. So if there's not a whole lot of talking bits, um, it's probably because I'm just struggling with depression. But anyways, with it being the first of the month, I usually do graphic novel and manga days. So my plan is... I'm also participating in a lot of readathons this month, and I have a massive TBR. Granted, most of the TBR is like chance well, mood reads for me, so I am hoping to do a bit of mood reading throughout the, the month to try to make up for all that. And one of the readathons I am participating in is Becca's Spookopolathon. I have the board printed here. And I'm going to be using one of my, like, bookmark paper clips for this. I have a set of dice. I was thinking about using just my D20 dice um, for that. But I just me, like, just switch it up randomly um, just to see what I get. Whatever dice comes up for that type of role, role, I'll go with it. And then I'll try to fit in, like, the books as I read for other readathons that I am participating in because there's quite a few that's going on. One of my friends is hosting um, a readathon and then at the end of the month I am hosting the Sawin round for Witchathon. So I'm hoping to kind of get some quite a bit of reading done this month I, but also trying to take it easy since my mental health isn't the greatest at the start of this month. But yeah, I am going to randomly pick a dice and then I'll flip you guys around and you can see my rolls and what I will start out with for the month. Okay, so I got my like diamond shaped dice. It's a nine sided dice. So we're going with that with the first roll. Let me, let me switch hands real quick. So. I'm not. Oop. Got a six for that first roll. So let me see. One, two, three, four, five, six. I have orange as the first prompt. Okay. So first book upload or spook upload on prompt is orange. So a book with mostly orange on the cover or with orange on the cover. I am going to search Kindle Unlimited to see what I can find because it is my graphic novel day. I want to read at least one graphic novel for today. So we will see what I find. I'll come back to you once i done some searching. Honestly, it didn't take me very long because as soon as my Kindle app loaded onto my Chromebook, the very first book is Life is Strange Dust, which is supposed to be like the sequel hey guys just wanted to update i finished reading life is strange dust i gave it like four stars it was pretty good um it did kind of recap the game at the beginning of the book so i wasn't like com completely lost of the storyline so um, after reading and updating my spreadsheet and reading journal, I um, watched a couple episodes of Boy Meets World on Disney+. Plus. 
I'm feeling pretty tired, so I'm thinking about making me a cup of coffee and rolling again to see what my next read will be. Okay, we're going with the six-sided dice this time around. So let's see. Four. So one, two, three, four. Oh, a feed scroll. This should be interesting. Okay, we got feed scroll. I'm going to do this a little bit different than it was intended because of me just trying to focus on graphic novels for today. I'm going to feed scroll until I get to a graphic novel and I don't think it's going to work. So if it doesn't work for today, I'm going to put this one on pause and focus on a, another readathon prompt um, just so I can have a book fit to that. So we'll see. Um, I probably, I'll try to put a screen recording of what I find if I find anything, um, but I have a good feeling that it's probably not going to be something that I'm going to be wanting to get to at this point. <laughs> surprisingly that wasn't too hard instagram didn't come up with a graphic novel for me to read so i sw just switched to goodreads and the first one i saw was m is for a monster by talia dutton and it looks like it's supposed to be like a frankenstein retelling so that is perfect so i am pulling it up on libby right now because one of my library systems actually has it to borrow so i'm getting it set up for my kindle and i am will probably start reading it here soon i'm also going to be trying to dye my hair today the green has run its course for me i am wanting to go with something different so i'm debating whether or not if i want to go ahead and do that now while i kind of have the motivation going so we will we kept the pace i feel like i'm a did my rolls and I plan on using that roll for Carrie. I'm in the middle of that right now but since it's still the first I am going to search for a graphic novel to read instead. So we will see what no, I do. Looking for something we can find like a kid. Okay, I'm getting irritated with my skin breaking out this week but I am about to head to bed or get comfortable and head to bed, but I just finished reading Witch, Tuck, Witch Hat Atelier Volume 1. It's probably going to be like a three and a half, four stars. That's pretty good. Um, the graphic novels that I've read today were pretty much four star reads for me, so it's all good. Um, with my role of reading a Stephen King book, I'll probably end up having to put that off for a few days because I really need to start Thunderhead and read that for the um, Reading by Candlelight book club pick because the live show is in, it's not this week, coming up weekend, but the weekend after and I am the host for it. I have yet to start that. So I'm 
probably gonna start that tomorrow. Good morning, you guys. It is six something, almost seven. I do need to get dressed because I need to head out a bit earlier than I would normally do on a Monday because I need to go get my allergy shots done because they were not doing shots on Friday when I went by. So I need to get dressed for that. I had just started reading Thunderhead. I'm literally, I just read the first like beginning bit and then got into chapter one. Um, I'm reading it on script on my Chromebook, but I'm also uh, doing Becca's Dice Sprints today. So since I got um, Stephen King for the last role, I have like a little bit done more to read on Carrie. I'm bringing this along with me and uh, oh, well, one of my dice with me. So I may end up doing my own type of dice sprints um, later on today when I'm at work. I'll probably just like bring this dice with me and um if I get like an even number or something I'll or if I roll the same number twice I'll probably just switch books or something I don't I haven't decided yet but yeah I need to get up and get dressed take my meds and yeah and I've been working on my a little bit on my scrap yarn blanket as uh, I just I had picked it up as I was reading so we'll see what today has in store been a bit since I last done a like a full talking update. I've just been kind of stressed because I had some health things like doctor stuff I had to deal with today and yesterday that is really stressful and just been busy and just haven't really been wanting to really talk all that much. But I wanted to update you about where I am at and um, Thunderhead. I'm at 42% the way in. I'm like 214 out of 504. I'm enjoying it and I'm probably, I'll we'll most likely get this done before um, the live show, but I'm also feeling the pressure of needing to get these two library books done because I've had them out for a while. I am won't be able to renew them. And yeah, and they're for a, another vlog. So we will see what I do. I am back to using my dice to see like what I would be picking up reading wise. I also have, I haven't read any in Carrie whatsoever because I've been working on Thunderhead. Um, but yeah, I have um, just been mostly knitting. I've gotten um, one project done. You would have seen that I finished a knit bralette and I am almost done with a hat. I'm working on the crown decreases now. I have like, let's see, like six rows left of the crown decreases to do and then I'll be done. So that's fun. And yeah, I'm just kinda, 
I don't know. I might get a little bit more reading done today if one of my friends starts streaming. I tend to read a bunch during my friend's Twitch streams because it's nice to have the background noise in the company um, for it. But a lot of the times it's some games that I'm not all that interested in. So I will end up doing something else, which is not a bad thing. That's how I just spend my days most of the time. But yeah, it. I'm also feeling pretty tired. I just wanted to update you all since it's been a while since I actually physically looked at the camera and now I have a fancy new like tabletop tripod that Jordan gave me that he somehow managed to have at work that he wasn't using. So it's not a tall one, it's a lot lower, but at least I don't have to worry about balancing you guys on it my monitor or a cup anymore so at least there's that but i'm going to get back to my knitting and watching youtube and we'll hopefully check in with you guys okay.